MUSQ, the MUSQ Global Music Industry ETF, tracks the performance of music companies around the world, uh, basically in five different verticals. Streaming, content and distribution, live music events and ticketing, equipment and technology, and satellite and radio. MUSQ is the first pure play music ETF giving investors really a front row seat to capture all the growth and innovation in the music industry. What, what, I mean, what made you start this? I mean, what was your motivation behind starting this company? Well, I've been in the music industry, Trinity, for 25 years. I've been running public and private companies. I had a company called Evergreen for many years. We owned all the rights to J.J. Kale, Eric Clapton, Joe Cocker, a lot of Michael Jackson songs. Wow. So I've been investing in the space for a long time. And about a year and a half ago, I realized how many public companies there were in music. Live Nation, Spotify, Madison Square Gardens, Fear. Tencent, all the international companies, the K-pop companies, companies in Taiwan. And I said, wait a second, there needs to be a way for investors to conveniently invest in the music industry. So I created a completely liquid and portable product for them now to capture all global stocks around the world that are invested in music. What would you say are the main factors that contribute to this decision making when it comes to from where you sit? So when I designed MUSQ, all the companies had to generate more than 50% of their revenues from music or they had to be a top five player in oh. streaming content, live music events and ticketing or equipment and tech. Or, and, and so Apple, Apple, Amazon and Google, while they don't generate 50% of their yeah. revenues, they're still number two is Apple, number three is YouTube music, Google, and number four is, is Amazon. So I had to include them. However, they each carry caps of 7%. So none of the big, so the whole index is market cap weighted and no company, no single company can have a, a weight greater than 7%. Mm -hmm. And you know, Live Nation, which trades here under the ticker symbol uh, LYV, you know, they recently reported their quarterly earnings. What were your biggest takeaways from that? Uh, I mean, look, last year was a monster year for live music. Yeah. Uh, they reported record revenues of 36%. Their revenues were up to $27 billion. Uh, look, it was a huge year. You had the Eras Tour, you had Beyonce, you had Harry Styles, you had Elton John. 145 million tickets were sold across 50,000 events. So Live Nation is just crushing it. They doubled their output of shows for 2024. Look, people are, it's, it's, the, it's funflation. It's revenge spending. Uh, people were, you know, fans were spending over $1,000 a ticket for, for Taylor Swift. They were spending $500 <laughs> a ticket for, to go see U2 at the Sphere in Vegas. Yes, yes. And so people want to spend up for experiences, and Live Nation has just done an incredible job. Well, thank you so much, David, for joining me today. Great. Thank you very much.